Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time to show the Mercury Vapor Collection. So this is the third installment of me showing my entire light bulb collection and today it's time to go over all the Mercury Vapor bulbs. Most of them are still in the package so that should be interesting but we are going to start with the bulbs that aren't in the packaging anymore. And that makes us start with this bulb which is a Philips Mercury Vapor. HPL under 25 watts with a E40 socket. So these wattages also exist with a E27 socket, but this is the E40 version. And this bulb, I don't think that it works, but I never actually tested it, so it could work. <laughs> Next, we have this Mercury Vapor bulb, which is broken. I don't really know why I still have it. Here we have another 125 watt mercury vapor bulb. This I'm sure this one doesn't work because the inside is pretty black. Also E40. Then we have a more interesting bulb which is a mercury vapor 400 watts. 400 watts from Polymp or how you should pronounce it correctly. With E40 base as well, which is pretty normal. Also, doesn't work anymore, I think. But it's still cool to have, it's a pretty big bulb. Last but not least, from the bulbs that aren't in the packaging, is the Philips MLR, which is incandescent and mercury vapor at the same time. I guess that counts, it counts as a mercury vapor bulb. 160 watt, 220, 230 volts, and I made several videos about it. And it just basically is an incandescent bulb, but a mercury vapor thing takes over when it is hot enough. It has an E27 socket. And this is the bulb compared to a 125 watts. So the first one in a box is this mercury vapor 125 e27 watt from philips it's a pretty boring packaging as you can see and the bulb is itself ain't that interesting too it's one of the latest uh, mercury vapor bulbs philips ever made it's brand new so that's a cool thing and this is a, also 125 but then with e27 socket you can see this one is a bit smaller as well. But a pretty boring packaging. So this is the next one which is a Philips Mercury Vapor Comfort. Which is a sort of a warm white color. Um, 50 watts. So this here in this package there ain't actually a Comfort one. This is just a normal Mercury Vapor 50 watt. E27 sockets. Pretty small bulb. Especially compared to 400 watts. So let's look at the packaging real quick. Here we have some information about the burning positions that you need the baddest for it. Some inf other information made in Holland. Here again about the baddest and stuff. And this is actually. Never mind. This is a normal version too. I think I have all the uh, comfort versions in use because they give pretty nice light, even if it doesn't differ too much from the normal and uh, mercury vapor. Then it's time for an Osram mercury vapor. The I have two, but we are only going over one. So, a pretty interesting package, especially the logo is pretty cool. Also went over this bulb in a video. So let's try to get it out. I don't want to break the packaging. So, I have this one in use for quite some time because I prefer Osram to Philips. Because Osram has a way more interesting pink color when it starts up. HQL 80 watts, so it uh, has a different name. Also, the shape of the bulb looks a bit different. We'll go over that when we get to the Philips ones. But as you can see, it doesn't really have 
a black filament so it still works perfectly fine here again is some information you can pause the video to read it and here too an EHQL 80 watts looks just like a tape and I did put another uh, piece of tape on it because the package cracks open when I don't do that time for some Philips bulbs um, this is the mercury vapor 80 watts from Philips as, as you can see also a pretty interesting package it does have another a different base than is in the package but there's a normal picture here also some information about that you shouldn't use it without the right ballast and yeah it's basically the same let's open the actual package here you can see the Philips design here's the Philips information and let's compare it to the Osram one real quick as you can see some difference but it's not that big probably not recognizable from a distance comparison video on our channel and we have four of these in total now we are getting to the rare stuff so let's start with the Pope bulbs which have an amazing packaging really love this packaging doesn't really have much information but just the colors and I just love it and there we have a Pope Mercury Vapor as you can see it's pretty hard to read it's not very good quality um, but it's 80 watts and as you can see never been used before basically has the same type of glass as the Philips one only Ostrom is a bit different I only have three here but we have five in total of these so then we have another boring package or actually two that are these so there's actually a number on here I don't know why it is there 71 probably says something about company I don't know I don't even know which company this is but here we have the bulb which is 250 watt mercury vapor so these are new I bought them at the restore for 50 cents or something pretty cheap so this is the brand of the bulb There's some information there ain't information on the rest so it's maybe a bulb for professionals that already know that you need the ballast for them but yeah I've got two of them so from the same company but a different package and actually a really beautiful and interesting package we have this mercury vapor 125 and you can see the bit here but let's go over the actual packaging because that's a pretty interesting packaging so I love this package for several reasons I like the, the blue color the red things on here the red logo and it uh, says something about how old it is because we have some old low pressure sodium bulbs on here as well this is before SOX was a thing it's called SO it's uh, the predecessor of low pressure sodium and here's a mercury vapor so let's get the actual bulb out we have information on top here under 25 also never been in use I never even tested it if it works as you can see it's a bit of a bulb that's between Philips and Osram I always display the package when you walk into the shed this is almost one of the first things you will notice because it just says something about how old it is and it's a pretty cool packaging but yeah that was the pile of mercury vapor we went through and uh, let me know if you want a video about any of these bulbs I can try to make it as soon as possible and thanks for watching and see you in the next video.